Hello friends, uh, welcome to the Medical Cosmos and today we are going to talk about X-ray KUB. Now it stands for kidney ureter bladder as we have often seen some KUB film in our rounds and wards and we got to know its uh, basic idea. Now today I am going to discuss about that. Now first of all we must know that how is it taken. Uh, the patient is relaxed in supine position and, and uh, upper limb and cross the abdomen uh, and the central beam as you can see is directed just above the umbilicus and the knees are sort of flexed now having said so uh, when we see the film uh, we just have know the we just have in the mind the basic anatomy of the KUB that is uh, the how could we predict where the anomaly is that is the kidney ureter bladder now just to take you the tour of uh, uh, sort of anatomical relationships I'm going to show you an uh, anatomical diagram to, to make it clear uh, now here I, we have a cross section or anatomical diagram of uh, what we say this is we have skeletal and we have kidneys placed bilaterally the right kidney is lower than the left kidney because the right kidney is uh, just below the liver so due to pressure uh, the the lower kidney is the right kidney is just uh, the superior pole of kidney is inferior to the compared to the right lobe of kidney sorry the left uh, uh, partner kidney now here we can see the uh, ureters are running just uh, uh, in line of transverse process of uh, these vertebrae that they are the lumbar vertebra, vertebrae and this is psoas muscle as we can see the psoas muscle we will see its a shadow on x-ray film also <laughs> now here it goes to the bladder area now here we can see the ureter opening into the bladder okay and this is pelvis Abdom it is located abdom kidneys are retroperitoneal structures located behind the peritoneum and there are three physiological constriction first is pelvic ureteral constriction then here we have when they cross iliac arteries and here we have the last constriction is we have uh, where the ureter enters the blood that is by puj junction now having said so also uh, the uh, the kidneys, the right kidney is lying with the posterior relation of 12th rib, but here uh, it is sort of mis mismatch. Yeah, you won't be uh, able to appreciate that. And the um, and the left kidney, that is this, is uh, in relationship with the 11th and 12th rib. But but here you won't get the exit. But you just keep in mind. Now now coming to the X-ray. Now how do we interpret the, the, the basics of KUB X-ray? Now here we go. Uh, here we can see appreciate the ascending colon that is from the cecum. You can see the ileocecal junction here somewhere around. The cecum starts here and the colon ascends from here. And here we have hepatic flexure but here you can see the right kidney shadow here somewhere around as you can see posteriorly the 11th rib sorry the 12th rib and this is the liver shadow now uh, coming back to the now this is the transverse colon and this is left kidney shadow this is we can see the 12th rib uh, uh, more superiorly we can also see the relationship with 11th rib posteriorly and this is descending colon and this is sacrum and this is urinary bladder area now we can uh, now appreciate the psoas muscle, muscle line uh, shadow this is lucency see you can see it easily this is the psoas muscle shadow as we saw in the diagram also see that the 12th rib which is ending here here is uh, the last uh, attached to the last thoracic rib now we can count uh, last 
count like this that this is l1 because after thoracic vertebra we have lumbar vertebra starting l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 now the the we can see the the left kidney is between the superior and inferior pole of the left kidney is between the t12 and uh, l3 and uh, in right kidney the superior and inferior pole is between the t12 and sort of l2 kidney the lower margin of l2 vertebra sorry now the ureters run like this like this and they empty into the bladder now when we uh, have a suspicion of any ureter calculi or nephrolithiasis or in vesiculolithiasis or any hydronephrotic changes we can appreciate them in the ivu better uh, uh, the hydronephrotic change but uh, you, uh, the opaque, opaque uh, renal calcula can be appreciated also where they can be located in the margin of KUB we have to know we have to know it's uh, all the tracking of KUB so that we can track the urinary calcula better so if we found uh, in the shed, lining of the shed of KUB we can exactly see but sometimes they uh, mimic the flebolids but as which are found in, uh, commonly in iliac veins so we don't have to get confused with uh, renal calcula and the flebolids so this was the basic uh, interpretation of uh, KUB and uh, in the next video I'll uh, post some x-rays and uh, abnormal x-rays for the KUB uh, keep tuned and thanks for watching goodbye